Hey, uh, we have, hi, hi guys, uh, we presented dot CI application la, in the last demo session. This is some updates which we did on that. Uh, let me share screen. You should be able to see my GitHub repository oh. right now. Yes. Yes. So this is the GitHub repository which where we are uh, contributing for our top CI application tool. Uh, so like the few, uh, like a brief description what, what we did till now. So this uh, CI tool is based upon Tekton pipelines and OpenShift pipelines. So we use the triggers and pipeline uh, resources to uh, build this CI tool. So what, what have we accomplished, accomplished till now is having a pipeline for each PR run. Based on PRs, we try to do some checks uh, those can be find out in this task. So there is a Quora check, there is a Py test check, and that there is a PR build check. So in the PR build check, what we are trying to do is build the PR with our dot advice. Uh, so dot can advise based upon what the PR, uh, like what the pipeline, uh, sorry, what the pip file contains in the repository, and we can build that. So this is where we are we, we can you can have option to switch on or switch it off and uh that could be included in your pipeline task uh, uh so these are the things which we are trying to accomplish by providing a pipeline to check through pipe uh to the pull request and then you can merge it and later you can deploy it via argo cd so what uh, today what i'm going to present is show up how yeah, an apply and how an application can be deployed uh, uh, through uh, first build through Tekton CI and then deployed uh, with Argo CD. Uh, before going to that, just uh, let's go into the dot applications. So the dot application is a repository, uh, is an application where Argo CD comes into picture, and this is where we deploy. Uh, Stuff has already presented how you can use and deploy uh, application, uh, uh, use and deploy the applications through Argo CD. So what I want you to focus here is on one of the components. So one of the components here is the OLS test folder. This is the folder where which would be used to deploy it into the test uh, cluster. And here is this image stream tag. And this, as Christoph said, this is the tag which will which will be uh, the most important part where this will be the tag which will be deployed into the dot uh, into the test cluster so based upon the uh, based on the tag which is present in query it will be deployed into a test cluster let's go ahead and try to uh, try to do that via uh, one of our folks so i'll show it to you I'll show it to you on my fork but what's uh, what's important is when you do it on the actual dot station user API, you can do it via opening an issue. So uh, issue must be opened by, by either bot or the maintainer. The maintainer, uh, why is this necessary? Because Kabish Chef comes into picture. Kabish is on another tool which helps us maintain our uh, Python packages and the pip file and also maintaining our repository. So, so uh, once you open the issue, it will trigger a tag release. So right now our tag is on 0 .0, 0 0.6, 0 0.0, and I'll try to manipulate that and show you a new release. So let's go back here. Uh, as you can see, there's already 5.2 in my fork. Let me try to trigger 5.3 and show you to you what happens. Uh, while I'm doing this, it can also be triggered via Google Chat. But uh, so we, in our dot DevOps group, we try to use uh, Shasheta in our uh, chatbot, and we can use that to. Uh, raise this issue and then via issue this tag can be released. So if you see there would be a pipeline already triggered. So what we check here is few of the conditions like if the tag is it was a tag or if the query repository is present where we can push this image. 
So firstly, what will happen with the what will what happens is first we take the tag and build the image based upon the tag. Uh, and once the image is built, we push it to Quay. Uh, Quay will uh, Quay will have uh, image stream tags, and based on these image streams, we pass it to Argo CD to deploy it. So as you can see, it's trying to run. Um, while it's running, let me show you a already pre-run uh, tag release. So the first condition is to build. So it builds on our dot advice, and you can see dot is advising, and we see uh, there was no observations for any other things. And we also do we also we also can do provenance checks. Provenance checks runs on the wheel files, uh, which are being introduced. So once this build is done, we push it to our query repository. And then once it's done, we try to deploy it via Argo CD. So we pass the information via commit to Argo CD. I think you can see that happening here. So it's building. Uh, once it's done, uh, we can show on the verge of completing. Uh, while it's happening, let me show you what's the result of this. So, so we push the tag. The tag will show up here. And then in the dot application, because I'm using my fork. It will do a commit like this, deploy the tag for user API. And you see from, from the version which was previously in the test uh, namespace was 4.1. And now it goes to 5.2, which was released by the dot CI. Uh, so same thing will happen with the 5.3 which is on deployment. So now it's deploying. So you can see here, there should be a new tag, uh, 5.3. And now there should be a new deployment as soon as this completes. So it completed. And if we refresh this page, uh, one second, I'm in the commit. If you see, there is a new commit. Let me take you there. So if I'm prop by two, we updated it to 5.3. Uh, this is uh, this is how we want to have this workflow. Uh, we want it to be maintained by a, a maintained with the, our Cyborg Watch, which helps us to deploy this. So uh, the workflow would be: you go to your repository, you open an issue with the help of Kebishet, and with Kebishet, once a tag is released, the Tecton CI will build it for you, and then commit uh, to Argo CD to, so that Argo CD can deploy it for your test environment. This is one workflow. The other workflow is via chatbot. In the chatbot, you can go and uh, type, think, uh, let me show you an example. You can type, create a new patch release, like here, and then it will go up and show, uh, release a tag release for us, and then it will deploy it for, for you. Uh, so that's what I had uh, for this one. I had another update. So as you can see, there's this uh, pull request, which we showed up, uh, showed the demo before, like you can do a retest and deploy. There's another way, another feature which we have introduced. It's still a work in progress, but what it does is if you type slash approve, this is for the maintainers and the review and the reviewers who are requested to review the PR. And once they review it, they can write slash approve to merge it. Uh, if they don't want to do it uh, like manually, they can write slash, slash up through it. What will happen in the background? It, a few of the checks will happen, and once the checks is done, uh, it will try to merge it. So right now, I've disabled the checks so that you can see what's happening. Uh, let me show you. There should be a pipeline running. Pipeline will try to check all these things. Uh, will take some take up some time, but. Once it's done, it will try to merge. Uh, that was another feature which we are working, which we worked on, and we are trying to improve this feature. Uh, yeah, uh, so that's what I had for demo. And should take a few minutes. That can let's just give it some time, and it should try to do that.
I'll meet time while this is happening, I had a comment. So if you if you if you feel like this is going uh, this you have any feedback for our .ci or if you want to have if you would like to see any new feature or have any ideas, please open up an issue over here and we will try to uh, try to implement that. And if you have if you want to contribute, you can definitely contribute. Uh, to our repository, we have defined few of the things. We'll be updating the README soon, so that it's more easy for anyone to contribute to this repository. Uh, hopefully, so the pipeline has finished. So if you see, once it gets approved, it's get merged, and that's that's what I had from uh, the tools update side. Uh, more, more updates will be coming in future. Thanks for the time. Uh, thanks uh, for the demo. Uh, um, I have any questions? Yeah, yeah. I got. Um, I think yes. you stopped at the point where you showed that the new commit hit the TOS application repository, right? Um, yes. What Tekton also does is trigger Argo to, to deploy all that stuff to the environment, right? So yes. to talking Argo language, um, Argo CD is uh, triggered by Tekton and synchronizes this new master branch, this new head commit of this branch into the test environment. And that is uh, how we uh, get the 053 tag in this example into the test environment. Yes, exactly. Thanks for pointing that out. Yeah. Francesco. Yeah, I have a question. Uh, so we push this to QA, QA yes. right? With the new yes. tag, yes. Um, is it not going to be also in the stage? Uh, Might so, be confused, maybe. Yeah, uh, no. Uh, so the, it's a good question. So it will it will not directly show up in uh, stage. What happens? This is the where the Argo is present. So Argo needs to decide. Argo will implement. Uh, so Argo will push into uh, into stage. So that it is available. So right now, if even if it's present in uh, Quay 5.0, uh, 0.53, state doesn't know there's a tag of 5.03. State only knows that there was a tag of 5.2, and that's where it is talking. So to get to know there's a new tag, uh, we need to tell it to the stage cluster. That's where the uh, the Argo CD comes into picture. It will it will, uh, it will import the new image into the stage cluster. And then add that image to the user API, which is which is being uh, which is running in the stage cluster. Uh, the, does that help? Oh, that does answer your question. Okay. Hey, that answers my question. And the second question is on the approve. Mm -hmm. Yes. What is the advantage of that approve respect to the uh, when you approve, like in the review? Uh. So this is just a work in progress, uh, but if we, we are still working on it, uh, if you, if you uh, I still need the feedback. Uh, the approve which happens here, we can use that to uh, to to merge the commit. But we wanted to have this approval right now because if there are what happens is uh, if, even if you are not a reviewer, you can review it if you're a part of a repository. So for example, uh, let me show it to you on dot user API, there's a pull request open. So you see this pull request, uh, it's open by Fido and no one has been requested as a reviewer. But if I I uh, if I if request Christoph, uh, he mm -hmm. can approve it. Or uh, I can, I think, I can also approve it uh, if I'm a part of the repository. If I approve it, it should not, it should not uh, merge it because I was not the requested reviewer, but even though I know it, I should either wait for all the all the people to review it and merge it, or I should wait for the maintainer to approve it. So that was the idea, but it's still in working progress. So any feedback will help. If you feel that's better, we can do it in that way. But we can discuss this. Uh, no, no, I really, I, no, no. Thank you. I think uh, actually now, now I understand the point, and it's actually very useful in that case. Yeah, we also want to have. Uh, conditions like uh, right now, it's it's there are only few conditions like if checks if the owner has made the approval. But uh, we, uh, what we're implementing is we'll check on the tags if the label has been up added to approved or not. 
if the asa if all the uh, we can also have more stringent checks like if all the reviewers have reviewed it if you want only two of them to review it what's the minimum criteria we can do all those things uh, just it was just a uh, math teacher just to show that we can also do this with tecton ci or the tot ci thank you welcome any other questions uh, if not, if you have any other questions or any feedback, please do let me know or you can put the, uh, raise the issue. That would be best for us to uh, keep track and we can implement that as soon as possible. And thanks for your time. Uh, I'll see you in the next demo. Thanks.